Hello everybody and thank you as always for checking out my review. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a different type of a digital watch than I usually go over. Uh, today I'm going to go over the Sunto Observer. Uh, this is from the Black Collection. And the box is actually plain black sleeve with the Sunto logo and the Black Collection kind of printed on top in black. And you of course have the white box underneath. It's a very large box uh, with the serial number on it the logo and opening up the big white box you have a smaller white box along with the manual Let's start off with the manual it's a very thick manual but as always with most digital watches you're going to get it thick because of the fact that there's multiple language support in there so don't be too intimidated with that and of course the watch itself which comes in a very nice uh, harder I'm going to say it's like a light thin wood box on a pillow and here of course is the watch um, like I said before this is the Sinto Observer this is from the uh, ST series uh, it's got the steel elastomer strap uh, this is a different type of a strap than uh, you're normally used to seeing with uh, me this is the type of strap that you have to actually cut rather than just adjusting by buckle every time you're wearing it. Um, as you can see, the negative screen and display is very, very visible. Um, I think that there's a little bit of magnification coming off. If you notice, there's a slight dome to the crystal, so I think that adds to it. Uh, plus, the liquid crystal, it, it, it just appears very, very close to the surface, so it's probably one of the most visible uh, negative displays that I've seen and I, and I have to tell you I mean you know I talk about Casio all the time Casio's been putting together some pretty real you know some really good LCD negative displays lately but Sunto just really uh, they, they won it on this one and not to mention it's it's larger, larger digits as well so that obviously uh, helps with the clarity too now um, this is a very functional watch it's an ABC which is uh, altimeter barometer compass uh, the observer is a much smaller watch than uh, a lot of the other Sunto watches I don't know if you've ever gone into stores or looked online but usually very thick chunky large type watches uh, this one was meant to be more downscale um, it's got the same functionality as many of the watches but it's just uh, it's, it's a really fine piece um, if you look at the display here uh, you'll notice that you have the day of the week, the time, and then you have your date underneath that. Now you can change the date to the seconds or the second time zone. I usually keep it on the month and the day just because there is, if you notice on the circumference of the watch, a, um, a display that just kind of goes around almost like an analog to a degree to tell you what the seconds are, so I don't have to get too concerned with that. Now, one thing I do want to make clear, of course, is uh, I'm not a professional outdoorsman by any stretch. I'm, in, you know, I go camping once a year. I go fishing periodically. Um, you know, so I'd, basically, what I'm going to do is review the features and what they do. But I really can't go over to you how well the features work in certain atmospheres and conditions. Um, you would definitely want to go online and utilize this as much as possible. I just like you to kind of get an understanding of the watch, what it does, and you know. Give you more of a three-dimensional view than a photo that you'll see so uh, being moving forward with that um, one thing that i do know about this watch is it will not read the barometer and the altimeter at the same time so the rule of thumb when dealing with a sunto observer is if you're going to be more stationary um, at a camping trip location you don't plan on moving up and down a lot you're going to want to keep it in the barometer uh, the barometer mode if you are moving a lot you're going hiking you're going up and down hills you want to put it in the altimeter so this way you're going to kind of get correct readings off of each other so that's the rule of thumb when going over uh, with these watches uh, the modes are used in uh, different fashions um, Pressing the mode, the first one goes into the altimeter. This tells you how many or how high you are in feet. Um, I will say this, uh, you know, measuring this against topographical maps that I've read off of Google and uh, different mapping softwares, it's been dead on accurate. I'm highly impressed with it so far. Um, also keeps the time displayed on the bottom. You press the mode again, and it gives you the barometer, which I tend to keep it under. Um, also, once again, extremely accurate. I go to uh, Google... Uh, I'm sorry, Yahoo Weather. Um, I'm 
mix it up, uh, I match it up to the to, to, to the readings that it's giving me off of the barometer and it works like a charm. Uh, also gives you the temperature readings as well. Um, temperature reading will be most accurate when it's off the wrist for 10 or 15 minutes because otherwise it's going to read off of your body heat. And, um, and then you have your compass of course. Uh, the compass is also dead on accurate when I've used it against a real compass. Um, you know, it's, it's read it just like it's supposed to. So those are your uh, main modes in the ABC functions. Going into the modes in regards to the stopwatch, you press the select button. And that's going to give you a 24-hour stopwatch. It doesn't give you a countdown timer, though. Um, you have three alarms. And then you press the quick button. And this is going to give you readings. So if you were looking to have a memory in there, this is going to work through your memories. And of course you could change, like I said earlier, the date from the seconds, the second time zone. So this way you kind of keep it where you want set. So those are your main uh, functions and features and uh, settings and memories that uh, this watch puts together for you. Um, it's amazing how much you get in such a small package um, and just for the obligatory wrist shot. Fits extremely well on the wrist. It's comfortable. Not a lot of movement. I mean, I actually prefer uh, I, I prefer having this type of a strap than the than the ones with the buckles. It's it's definitely fits perfect on my wrist. The only thing that uh, this type of a buckle takes away from is your resale value. But if you pick up another set of straps for this, which I did, um, you know, you should have no problem if you were looking to resell it. Personally, this one is uh, one of the ones that stays in my collection. It, it is one of my favorite digitals. And uh, just for a comparison shot, I figured I'd throw in uh, the King of G-Shock here to kind of give you an idea on the differences between the LCD negative displays. So as you can see, the Casio is a lot brighter than it used to be, but with this one, the digits are definitely a lot, uh, a lot bigger. So like I said, the bigger makes it a lot more fluid. And the viewing angles are, it's hard to tell with the camera here, but the viewing angles are a little bit wider on this than on the Casio. But as you can see, the size-wise, it's, it's, it's a great size. Not to mention, I mean, it's a very attractive watch. If you, if you look, they kind of took the resin and they put some steel bits in there, brushed. So it's got a nice matte finish. Same thing with the case, and you know I'm gonna say I bumped a I bumped a couple of doors and walls here and there with this watch, and you you couldn't tell. I mean it just it's a pretty strong watch. It's a hundred meter water resistant, and uh, one other little feature I forgot to mention is on the back. If you notice the battery, you could just take a dime, open it up, change the battery on the spot, close it, and um, you know it it. it as long as you keep the seal or change the seal with it, if uh, if you couldn't do it right away, make sure to do it as soon as you can and clean it out on the inside. It'll maintain its uh, water resistance with the 100 meters. So it's a strong, solid watch. Um, I would definitely recommend it to anybody that's looking for a good gadget watch, if you will. And um, I want to thank you, of course, for your support. Thank you for watching my reviews. Um, looked at my numbers the other day. I noticed it was over a million and a half views of all the reviews that I've done. So that just tells me I'm doing something right. And I definitely appreciate the, the great feedback that you guys give me. Um, once again, I did open up a Twitter account. It's at Doug FNJ. I'll uh, post it on the screen below. And um, again, thank you for your support. I'm sorry I wasn't as technical as I normally can be with a lot of the reviews, but I did the best I could for you. All right. Have a great day and uh, look out for more reviews soon.